Hello there, it's Anna Maggie again, and I'm back with this makeup look. I went to Greece last week and I wanted to show you how I did my makeup and also what I took, what products I took. So um, I'm going to be showing you those products as I go, but this is the makeup look that I did um, pretty much every day. And um, this is really good for makeup that is going to last through the heat through sweating in the summer because santorini is so, i'm sorry uh greece is so hot santorini was so hot that i had to make sure that i was taking products um that were gonna last through my oily skin through the sunscreen that i knew i had to put on and through the heat and humidity that is the greek islands so i hope you enjoy um take a look um this is not only for grease but it's for you know when this in the summer humid sweat proof makeup so i hope you enjoy i am going to try to insert a few clips here of me um in grease with this makeup on um in the like 102 humid d degree or super humid days so um yeah I had a great time in Greece and uh, yeah, if you're interested to see how to keep your makeup to last all summer long, stay tuned. All I have on my skin right now is my moisturizer. Now I'm going to apply some sunscreen. I really like this one, the Beauty of Joseon. This one is like a TikTok buy um, and it's SPF 50. The reason I like this one so much is because it does not leave a white cast or um like there's no residue of this afterward i put a different one on my neck and arms on my like chest and neck and arms and like forearms i use this one this is neutrogena invisible daily defense lotion um it comes out like orangey it's kind of odd but I just put that pea size amount in this area. This one would also be good for the face. It doesn't have any like, you know, residue or anything, um, but it does leave like a little sheen where the Joseon one doesn't. And I can't have any sheen because I'm an oily girl. So I need to really make sure that it doesn't leave me like feeling like sticky or anything. Moving on, the next thing you wanna do is really um, start with the base and the primers. So first off, I'm gonna use this Sweat Absorbing Face Lotion by Carpe. Just getting a bit of that. Um, just like that amount. Now I get oily everywhere. My eyelids, my, um, like this whole area, top of my lip, my chin, my eyebrow, my forehead, it all gets oily. So I'm gonna put it everywhere. If you only get oily in certain areas, just put it in those areas. But I'm just very oily. Now I need something to make it stick to my face, anything else, right? So that's going to be niaminicide. ELF Power Grip Primer, it has 4% niaminicide, and so it's that sticky feel. I kind of have to go a little bit more um, hardcore. <laughs> I use this one by The Ordinary. It is um, actually 10% niaminicide, so yeah. It comes in a little dropper. I only use this on days where I need my makeup to stay. And using that amount there, this is gonna go all over. Put it on my lids as well. This is really gonna help your makeup stay put. So lots of steps here, stay with me. All right, um, and what I like to do between each setting is, um, or in these next steps is I like to spray as I go. I know. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. 
um, after this one, I like to set each layer. It might be overkill, but this helps. While I'm waiting for that to dry. I'm going to go ahead and moisturize the lips. I'm going to use this uh, Vaseline Lip Therapy uh, Rosy Lips that, like Balm. I just get the back of my finger and get a bit on that. That way it doesn't get under my nail. Perfect. All right, next step. I'm gonna go ahead and now apply a setting primer or a base. This one is by Carpe. It is the Sweat Absorbing Lasting Matte SPF Primer. It has everything you want. Sweat absorbing, matte, it's a primer, it has SPF, and it also has, it's sweat and water resistant, and it also has a little bit of a tint. So, it looks like that. And it's kind of like, um, kind of moussey, to be honest. It feels like Cool Whip, <laughs> if that makes sense. This one does leave a little white cast, so here you can see. All right, as you can see, it did leave a little bit of a white cast. So, um, oops, got some of my lashes. So, um, the foundation is gonna be key here. So, once again, I'm gonna go ahead and spray. The foundation that I've been using is this Urban Decay, oops, Urban Decay, face bond foundation and I got in the color 10 light neutral I don't know why it doesn't say to shake it but I shake it because I'm not too sure and it has this little like applicator so I just kind of do that and then I'm going to take a foundation brush So a little bit about this foundation, it goes on thick and it does take a bit to work it into the skin and make it look natural and blend it in. So you do need a foundation brush like yes. this one to do that. And as you can see, it goes on a bit sheer. So you might have to do another coat if you'd like. This foundation is supposed to be self setting like you don't need a powder for it, but I'm still going to use powder. Um, and it's supposed to be like super long lasting, stays out, stays on. Um, so I have found that to be true, um, for, um, like day and stuff in the summer. I think it's a really good foundation. I don't think I got the right color for my skin tone, but I really did enjoy this foundation and it does stay on as much as I set it all. All right, now I'm gonna spray again. I'm gonna set again. And this time I'm gonna switch from uh, to a different primer. I'm gonna switch to the one size uh, On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my concealer. This is my favorite one, it has been for years. And I just don't see me switching it. It's the Huda Faux Filter. I've told you about this concealer before. It's my favorite. I have used it for quite a few years now. It is very thick, but it glides on effortlessly and really gives you that faux filter effect. So this is such a great primer. I also go ahead and use it as a eye base. To set all of that, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty um, Banana Bread, <clears throat> and I am going to bake with this. I know baking may be a thing of 2016, and nobody does it anymore, but I still do. I have oily skin, and baking is a must for me, especially around my nose and my forehead. 
um, where I get the most shiny. So it might not be um, something that you do anymore, but I have been baking since 2016 and I don't see myself stopping. All right, now that it is matte, I'm gonna go ahead and spray. Okay, to add some color and dimension, I'm gonna go ahead and use the same kit that I took. This is the Smashbox Halo Glow Face and Sculpt Palette. It has four shades here. And I like to mix the two blushes together. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the bronzer color down there at the end. I love this palette from Smashbox. I actually really love all of their face palettes. They do such a great job. If you haven't checked out Smashbox recently, I suggest you do go check out the Smashbox, the Smashbox corner of Ulta. So I'm placing that in all of the areas that I want to contour, my cheeks, my forehead, and my chin. Okay, and I'm going to mix the two blush colors. The blush colors is probably what's my favorite in the Smashbox palettes. They do such a good job making these really fit all skin tones. So I'm just mixing both of the colors. This is what I did the whole time in Greece. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and put that highlighter color. It's like a gold highlighter, champagne highlighter. It's super pretty. This is another telltale sign that I'm a millennial. I go pretty heavy on the highlighter, but I love it so much and I'm not going to change. Alrighty, so that's that palette. So pretty. All right, and for the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the eyebrows really quick. I did the same um, thing here. This is the NYX Lift and Snatch um, brow tint pin in the color espresso <clears throat> um when you do travel with these it, because it's liquid you have to be careful last time um it um bubbled out and spilled all over so do kind of look at your liquid products after you're on a plane and just see like if it's you know because they get pressurized is it um, affecting the way it comes out so i did that and then uh, as a brow gel i just went with this kosas air brow it's supposed to be clear but now it's got you know some of that brown but i just uh, comb them up and then Oh. all right so that was the only thing i really did for my brows for the eyes this is the only palette that i used i took another one but i didn't use it once so this one is it it's the ulta beauty electric city and the reason i liked it is because on like a beachy vacation i'm gonna use golds and like browns the most a little bit of like pinks but this one also had some blues to it and because a lot of the colors i was using was blue i i thought oh i could you know rim the under eye or things like that so i'm gonna use a fluffy blending brush let me go ahead and use these brushes that i took so this is just a fluffy blending brush and i'm gonna go into this tan color it's called tan lines super cute And I'm just placing this in the crease. I wasn't very precise on this. Just kind of get it in that general area there. And then I'm going to go into Coconut Dreams right here. This is more of a, actually it's kind of like a true brown. And this is just going to kind of stay in this outer part. I'm not trying to go very high with it or anything like that. <laughs> it 
this was such a versatile look. I did this almost every day. And the only difference that I did was the top color or the base color, I guess, or the lid color. All right, after that, I go in with this pencil brush and I do the same exact step. So first, tan lines um, down here at the bottom and I go pretty low with it just because of my eye shape. So I kind of go like right under um, my like lower eye bag, like down under here. You don't have to, but that's just the shape that complements me. But if your eyes kind of come out, I would try it because I didn't think so. And then I tried it one day and I was like, this is really nice. Then I'm going to go into Coconut Dreams. And this one, I'm just going to kind of keep toward the lash line, not to go down so far. Okay, there's that one. Okay, this is the only thing that I varied every time. I used this paddle brush and I kind of varied. So sometimes I went with this Art Deco, kind of like a more of a bronzy color, or sometimes I went with Sunset, which is more gold, or I went with Flamingo, which is Flamingo, which is um, obviously pink. So it kind of just depended on the day, um, my mood, um, but they, these three colors went with all the outfits, so it didn't really matter. So I'm going to go with, I want to show you all three. So I'm going to kind of make a little sunset on there. So I'm going to put Art Deco, which is the bronze color, all the way at the end. This is my first time using Ulta eyeshadows and it's fine they were okay but in this eye you could see there's lots of fallout so um just something to consider i don't know if it's just me or what all right now in the center i'm gonna go ahead and apply the flamingo color which is the pink one using the same brush i want to show you all three colors I think it's so pretty. Now at the top, I'm just gonna blend it into the blending color or the crease color. All right, now right in the center, I'm gonna go with this art, I'm sorry, with the sunsets color, which is gold. That didn't show you. And I'm just taking the same brush. All right, so there's the three colors. I didn't do this ever, but I used one of the three every time. So we have this bronze color back here. We have the pink and then the gold. So for the lower lash line, um, just to be a little bit fun about it, I'm gonna take this smaller brush and I'm gonna go into Ocean Breeze um, because it's, I thought it was more blue, but it's kind of more green. And I'm just going to take this right on my lash line. Like it's kind of like a deep teal color. Okay. Now I'm going to just flip this brush and I'm going to go into cruise control, which is this bluey color. And I'm going to put that in the lower bottom. So it kind of blends into that green or bluey green color, teal color. I just wanted to show you pretty much all the colors on this palette. Um, I don't know why they call it Electric City because 
the colors are very um like beachy kind of they're all named beachy colors too so i'm like where did they get the city from but okay i'm gonna go ahead and you guessed it set that all right i'm gonna top um line my upper lid with a brown color i took this down there this is the tarte double take in brown i think it's tarte it's kind of rubbed off but um i like taking these because it has one side liquid and one side is um the pencil this is not necessary on a vacation but if you do want to line your eyes like i always do this is a really good long wearing liner I also took three pencil liners. Um, I took two bluey colors and one espresso color. This one is by Milani. It is the Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner in Hooked on Espresso. This one works really well on the waterline and it really does stay put. Um, the other two I took, one was by Sephora. It's the 24 hour retractable liner and it's waterproof. And then I also took one by CoverGirl and it's a cobalt blue color i didn't use this one pretty much at all i used this one um on the lower lash line so let me put that on here okay so clearly i haven't filmed in a while and i need to do better i ended up only taking two mascaras and my lash curler of course um the two mascaras i took the first one was this is my only waterproof product that i use and trust it's the pixie by petra lash booster mascara nowhere on this mascara it says it's waterproof but it a thousand percent is so i love that one and then i took the l'oreal telescopic for you know every day so i'm gonna put that on here just to curl my lashes all right, and I'm going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic today. This is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I love it so much. It holds the curls on my thin, sort of straight lashes. So it's a really good mascara, one of the staples in my makeup kit. Okay, for the lips, I ended up taking this Benefit fresh squeezed moisturizing dewy lip tint in fresh squeezed and um it gave my lips that perfect treaty color i did end up using this every day on my lips during the days this is a lip tint so it's going to stain your lips so while it's drying i did take two perfumes I took this Escada Roller Ball Perfume in Santorini Sunrise. It smells so good. <clears throat> and I ended up with quite a bit left. There's up to there. And then I took a um, like a little diffuser that was filled with this. This is the, um, I don't know what brand it is, but it's just blue rooftops and very santorini so put this one on all right and then over that i did take another lip uh stick um which i'll show you in a bit uh in my next look and then i also took this mineral fusion hydro shine lip gloss and the color is santorini i found this on amazon the only thing is the topper comes off so you have to be really careful when you open it. Yeah. Okay. So I just pretty much did that lip every day. <laughs> Except um, some days when I put that other lipstick on and I'll show you later. So I pretty much let my hair do what it wanted to do while it was over there. It does get, because of the humidity, it does pick up more of a curl. So it looked different. And um, sometimes I did put it in this little clip. Um, <clears throat> but I was pretty much wearing a hat the whole time. So there's that. Um, actually, that hat right there. All right, and one last time, we're going to spray it. You can use the same... Um, 
setting spray. I actually didn't take either of the ones that I'm showing you. I took this one here. This one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte. This is the one that I took and it really did work really well. But um, while we're here, I wanted to show you probably the best one to keep your makeup on through all the heat is this Midnight Final Seal Matte Makeup Sealer. This is theater stage makeup, so it is very intense. Your makeup is going nowhere after that. Um, so that is the entire makeup look that I wanted to show you using most of the products that I took down there. I'm going to show you a different one last makeup look that I did more for evenings. This one really was my daytime look. I'm going to show you my evening more, you know, dressed up makeup look uh, in a bit in the next video. But yeah, this is pretty much what I did every day when I was um, in Greece. So <clears throat> I enjoyed my time so much. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll chat with you soon. Bye.